a really good place in my life. So it kind of feels um, comfortable to talk about my past, you know, um, because my present is so great. Boy George is an English singer, songwriter, fashion designer, and DJ. He came into prominence after becoming part of the New Romantic movement in the 1980s. George became one of the pioneers of the movement and received acclaim for his rhythm, blues, and reggae style of singing. George also worked on his solo career for years and experimented with dance and electronic music, collaborating with DJ and producers like Kinky Rowland. George is also a writer. Apart from writing song lyrics, he also has written two autobiographical books titled Take It Like a Man and Straight. I'm a comedian. And is I've it always it, that one? Always. And I've had it, you know, Moroccan carpet markets. I've had it at the pyramids. <laughs> I've had it up the Himalayas. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Net Worth Now, where you get to see the lifestyle and net worth of your favorite celebrities. We hope you enjoy these videos. And if you do, please remember to hit the like button and comment below who your favorite celebrity is so we can feature them in an upcoming video. His full name is George Alan O'Dowd, also known as George and Angela Dust. He was born on June 14, 1961, in Barnhurst, Kent, England, making him 60 years old at the time of this production. He stands at 183 centimeters or 5 feet 11 inches tall. George has dealt with legal issues almost all of his life. In the late 1980s, he got arrested for the possession of illegal drugs. Years later, Kirk Brandon sued him for mentioning their love affair in his autobiography. In 1985, in July of that same year, George was arrested in the UK for possession of cannabis. A few days later, the band's keyboardist, Michael Radetzky, was found dead in George's home. The coroner's report revealed that he had suffered a heroin overdose. During his time in Culture Club, George embarked on a relationship with drummer John Moss and he has claimed that some of the songs he wrote during this period were aimed at Moss directly. The pair's romance did not last, though with speculation that Moss had broken off his engagement to a woman to be with George, but was never entirely comfortable in a homosexual relationship. He was arrested again in 2005 in Manhattan for the possession of cocaine and received a sentence to five days of community service. He also had to cough up a $1,000 fine. Later, he got convicted on charges of assaulting Alden Carlson. Boy George's dating relationship in history have always been surfed by mainly his fans. Previously, speculations were swirling around the headlines that George and his unknown mysterious girlfriend were shopping for an engagement ring. There were also rumors that they would soon be exchanging the rings in front of their family members and close friends. Similarly, another magazine stated that the singer had already tied the knot in a secret wedding ceremony. But all those marriage rumors vanished into thin air after the sources did not get the detailed information and proof. Boy George married and dating history has been the most speculation question for ages. Moreover, George also announced that all those marriage rumors were false. Back on October 25th, George even took his Instagram that he is single. He even claims that it needs to be excellent to be single and get freedom. After posting such a post, all those marriage rumors from the magazines were turned down into the rumors. For now, George is single and is enjoying his life to the fullest. Moreover, it seems like the singer has no rush to get married anytime soon and focusing on his professional career. After Boy George turned down his marriage rumors and did not reveal anything about his love life, people started raising questions about his sexuality. Amazing, he has never denied that he was gay. George once said that he was always confused about his sexuality. Later, while exploring to find the answers to his sexuality, he dated English actress Martine McCutcheon. But their relationship did not work out and also did not last long. Despite all those dating and marriage rumors, George is single and is happy with his single life. Lifestyle. You're clean now, right? I'm nine, I'm nine years clean on March the wow. 2nd, yeah. No kind of chemicals, alcohol mm. or drugs. Nine years. Yeah. 
Boy George was born to Jeremiah and Dinah O'Dowd. His family includes his four brothers and a sister. To stand out among others, George used to dress outlandishly. He had a difficult childhood because of his abusive father. He attended Altham Green School. His incredible style of dressing and behavior led to his expulsion from school. When George got expelled from the school, he had to take up odd jobs to sustain himself. He worked as a fruit picker, milliner, etc. Even at home, no one entirely accepted him for who he was. George's striking style caught the attention of Malcolm McLaren, and he joined Bow Wow Wow. George formed his band with bassist Mikey Craig, drummer John Moss, and Roy Hay. They had people from different ethnic cultures and beliefs in their group, and decided to call their band Culture Club. Culture Club's first album, Kissing to be Clever, came out in 1982 and became a huge international hit, establishing George in the music industry. In 1983, Culture Club's second album, Color by Numbers, became a massive hit in the UK. Its singles, Church of the Poison Mind and Karma Chameleon, became number one hits in 16 countries. Although everyone was expecting their third album, Waking Up with the House on Fire, released in 1984 to be a smash hit like the first two albums, in 1986, he starred in an episode in the television series, The A-Team, he appeared as himself in the episode. The band's fourth album was From Luxury to Heartache. As soon as the album came out, the band was plagued by controversies. George got arrested for the possession of cannabis, and the band's keyboardist died of a heroin overdose. In 1987, he released his solo album, Solid, while still struggling with his heroin addiction. Meanwhile, his album Solid became a success in Europe, in 1988 and 1989, he released three of his solo albums, Tense, Nervous, Headache, Boyfriend, and Hi-Hat. Around the same time, he also started his record label, More Protein, and released many underground hits under that label. George always wanted to try his hand at rock. He released a rock album called Cheapness and Beauty in 1995. The album was experimental and did not do very well commercially. He also starred in a London musical titled Taboo. In 2002, he released this album, You Can Never Be Straight, which was a compilation of various unreleased songs and ballads. The album was a huge success and helped accentuate George's songwriting abilities. In 2009, he signed a new deal and released an Ordinary Alien album, The Kinky Rollin' Files. In 2013, he released an album titled Coming Home, the album was first released digitally and peaked at the number two position on Juno download chart. In January 2016, he became a mentor in the fifth season of The Voice UK, replacing Tom Jones. After a season, he left the show and joined the sixth season of The Voice Australia as a coach. After appearing in the seventh and eighth seasons of the show, he returned for the ninth season, which started airing in 2020. Religion has been important to you. Spir or spiritualism, I yeah. guess. Yeah. When I got sober, I, I really felt like there was something missing from my life. His annual salary is estimated to be around $3 million. As of 2021, Boy George's estimated net worth is $40 million. He owns a Gothic mansion located in the exclusive Hampstead area. He is currently living in his flat in Soho where the house is under renovations. In his garage, you can find a Mercedes SUV. A Range Rover. A Bugatti Veyron. Rolls-Royce Phantom. An Aston Martin DB5. He also has a collection of cars, but he has never seen driving them. 